Good afternoon. I'll move straight to updates on several of the tribunal's cases. The judgment in the trial for the contempt of the tribunal of Milan Topajic, former chief of the crisis staff and president of the Serb municipality of Sokolac, will be rendered this Friday, the 24th of February at 3.30 in courtroom one. Tupaic is accused of failing to comply with or to show good cause why he could not comply with two subpoenas in which he was ordered to testify in the case of Radovan Karadzic at his initial appearance on the 16th of December last year. Milan Tupaic pleaded not guilty. The trial was held on the 3rd of February this year. The trial of Radko Mladic, the former commander of the Bosnian Serb Army main staff, has been scheduled to commence on Monday the 14th of May this year. In the same decision, the Chamber also limited the number of sitting weeks for the early stage of the trial up to the 20th of August to allow the parties more preparation time. The next status conference in this case will be held tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock in courtroom 3. In the case of Zdravko Talimir, the defense rested its case yesterday, having uh, called four witnesses. The prosecution called a total of 126 witnesses. Closing arguments are scheduled for the 21st and the 22nd of August. Dalmir, the former assistant commander for intelligence and security of the main staff of the Bosnian Serb army, is charged with genocide, conspiracy to commit genocide, crimes against humanity and violations of the laws or customs of war committed between July and November 95 against Bosnian Muslims in Srebrenica and Zepa. His trial began on the 26th of February 2010. Proceedings in the trial of Radovan Karadzic, Micho Stanšić, Stanžu, Plenina, as well as the trial of Javica Stanšić and Franko Simatović continue this week and next is scheduled. In the trial of Stanšić and Zhuplenin, the Chamber has indicated that it will call three witnesses to testify on issues of relevance to some of the crimes with which the accused have been charged in the indictment. As scheduled by the Chamber, Srboljub Jovicinac will testify on the 23rd of February, Slavko Lisica will testify on the 1st and 2nd of March, and Tomislav Kovac will testify on the 7th and 8th of March. And in the Karadzic case, the trial chamber has just finished hearing the testimony of Milan Lesic, a Canadian Serb who was a founding member of a humanitarian organization providing funding and material support to the Republic of Srpska political and military leadership during the war. The next witness on the list is Ljubomir Obradovic, who was the head of the operations and training organ of the Army of Republika Srpska main staff in 1995. And in the trial of Stanšić and Simatović, the chamber is currently hearing the testimony of Simatović defense witness Risto Šeovac, who was the former commander of the border police station in Bajna Bašta in Serbia. That's it from me, Office of the Prosecutor. No statement uh, from our side. No statement and questions. No question. No question. No question. Thank you very much.